A while ago, I received a message from one of my viewers and he asked, Edward, how do these big American land yachts hold up in these small European towns? And I thought by myself, that's a good idea. Let's try and find out. So welcome everyone to a new video here on Ed's Auto Reviews. Welcome to Big Car, Small Street. And this is our test subject for today. This bittersweet and sandstone 1975 Buick LeSabre Custom Limited Landau. And I want to thank that Buick guy for lending this Buick to me to pilot this through the small and narrow streets here. And uh, you can check him out on Instagram if you like. Because this car is just shy under 5 meters and 80 centimeters. That's almost 19 fucking feet. And the best of all, it's still a two-door coupe. But uh, let's get going. We're on the hunt for a parking spot. In this day and age, they are hard to come by, and even if you do manage to find one, how will this two-ton beast fit? Let's find out by going into a parking garage first. This brings me to a little anecdote. I once knew a lady with an early 70s Cadillac and also an assigned parking spot in the basement of some hotel near the beach, but she never used it. And I said, ah, I can tell because you can probably cannot take the turns with the car. She says, no, 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 I can take the turns, but I can't take the ramp because of the front and rear overhang. It's so massive, she would automatically scrape the bumpers. And that's another thing we're gonna take, uh, need, need to take care of. This is our parking garage, built around the time when this Buick was released, but sized after a Fiat 600, which was still the common choice among Europeans at the time. We're about to reach the uh, parking garage and already see a Chrysler 300 passing by, so if they succeed, we'll succeed. Let's give it a shot if I can even make the... Oh, God. Oh, this is already inside. I... I <laughs> This is not going to work, is it? This is... No, you need to take no. the turn over both ways. Okay, so I need to back it up and... Oh, I can't back it up, there are already cars behind me. Is it even doable? You think? And yeah. it should take... Like, yeah, uh, back up way more, corner. back up way, or way more. Yeah, but there are also plenty of cars coming out, which I can't really... This is never going to work, is it? Could I fit through if I just go straight? Yeah, I think so. Go if you're close and all here. Okay. Um, do I even dare to continue or...? Yeah, it's, it's close. Yeah, straighten it out now. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we made it! But now, the second challenge. We're in the garage. We succeeded in doing that. But we still need to find a spot, which is big enough for this car. Which might be a problem. See, now, look, this, this is a problem. Like, if it isn't for the garage, then it's for people that park like this. Why not stick it all the way on the road? Okay, so now we're gonna make a turn, which I can't even make with my own car. Let's see if it works, so if we start out wide, <laughs> I can't see over the hood, it's this long, oh help, oh, see now this is what I mean, can I get past it, oh kinda, this is absolutely insane. Well, I tried hard, but I couldn't find a spot in the parking garage at all. And even if I could find one, I would not fit. So now we're going to find a spot 
on the street, some street parking. Now I know a parking spot in town that is always free, but to get there, we need to go through a very narrow street. Why were these cities not made for vehicles from the 1970s from America? Can't they see? I just want to go. Oh. I can, I can go there. It's blocked. All right, in reverse we go. Oh God. Will this, will this ever st stop? It was at this moment I started to get desperate. But then... Do you see what I see? The pot with gold. I found a parking spot and it's wide enough and big enough and long enough for this car. Finally, after searching for so long, parking garages and, and, and you know, street parking, and finally with beautiful view over the water, <sighs> we found the spot. Oh. Crap! It's for coaches. This is absolutely ridiculous, preposterous. I can't seem to find a parking spot anywhere. Why is this happening to me? Why me? What's a man gonna do to find a little space for his land yacht? Well, I'm back where I started. Here's all the space you need for a 75 Buick. I tried a parking garage, I tried street parking, I tried everything. And um, if you want my uh, conclusion, don't buy this car, don't buy an American car, it's just too big for the European towns.